Good morning, everybody. So here's the deal. So we have a job to go do this morning. We have a mission to go on. There's an adventure to be had. But first, it snowed a ton here in Salt Lake City last night. So, I mean, here, look at this. Look at all that dang snow. So, what we're doing today is we're going up American Fort Canyon. Um, if you've never been here to Utah, or if you're not from here, um, American Fort Canyon is about 45 minutes south of Salt Lake City. Um, there's a reservoir up there, Temple Fork Reservoir. We're going to go up there, we're gonna check it out to see if the conditions are good to do a sled photo shoot, super exciting. Um, it's just stuff that I'm doing for work, uh, but we're gonna go down there, check out conditions. We're gonna kind of talk about, you know, what to look for when you're scouting for locations and stuff for photo and video shoots. And yeah, it's gonna be a good time, especially with this snow. So it should be interesting, should be a good old adventure. So yeah, let's go. We're bringing the film camera just in case. Should be kind of fun. I mean, with all of the snow that we got last night, I mean, conditions outside look really, really cool. All the pine trees are covered in all this cool snow and stuff, and it just kind of looks like a winter wonderland. So, I don't know, maybe we'll get some cool stuff. We'll see. All right, I think we're ready to go. So I probably should wipe this snow off my windshield, but I don't know. We might just be lazy. Aha! It worked. Okay. We are on our way. Um, we got about a, I don't know, depending on traffic, probably about a 45 minute drive. So it's, the roads are pretty clear now, so I'm glad I waited. Uh, because driving here when it's snowing is so awful. Um, and nobody wants to do that. So I'm glad it's plowed. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes once we get to the canyon. So first we're gonna stop and, ooh, we're really bright here. Eh, it's not really better. There we go. So we're gonna stop and top off on gas. I'm at about half a tank. Um, yeah, it might, maybe we'll get some food and stuff. So I'm hungry, I haven't eaten anything, and yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm at Maverick, topping off on gas. I'm at Maverick because it's the best gas station, and I got breakfast, little donuts, and the mango monster, because that's the best monster. Um, the sugar-free though, because, oh, focus, I don't know. Sugar-free because, I'm trying to be healthy, apparently. Um, yeah, we're about 10 minutes from the canyon, so we'll get up there and check it out. So, a little about me, just to kind of give some context as to why we're going to go look for a spot to do a photo shoot for sleds. So, I do all this stuff for bushwhackers, obviously. I've been doing stuff for bushwhackers for two and a half years. That's when I started it. Um, but I don't really... We haven't been making any money on bushwhackers, any real money. So I mean, we've made a little bit here and there from you know hats and shirts and things like that. But we haven't made any like it's not like it's not my job. I so I still have a full time job, and so for my full time job, I work for Lifetime Products. If you don't know who Lifetime Products is, you've probably seen their logo somewhere. They do a lot of like tables and chairs. They do basketball hoops, kayaks obviously sleds, um, sheds, I mean, the, any kind of product you can think of for outdoor stuff, they, they probably make. So I work on the marketing team doing photo and video. So that's why we're coming up here to Temple Fork Reservoir, is to see if the lake is frozen over, if there's snow on it, just to make sure that the conditions are good to do a photo shoot and a video shoot for some sled products. So there's a little context as to why we're coming up here this morning to check out and see 
if the lake is good for sledding. Make sure that it's frozen over, make sure that there's snow on it, and yeah, we just wanna make sure it looks good. Make sure the lighting and everything is nice right now because it's the winter time. Last time we were up here shooting, it was early fall, I believe. So the sun is a, a little bit of a different angle in the sky. And so we wanna make sure that the light looks good. And yeah, we just wanna make sure it, it, it's gonna work. So, and that's the point of scouting. That's why we come out here and scout locations is to make sure that we're not showing up on location to do a photo or a video shoot and then we're surprised by the conditions. Make sure that we know what we're getting into and we wanna make sure that they're gonna work. So you don't ever wanna show up to a location and find that you, you don't have the right conditions to do the photo shoot that you want or to do the video shoot that you want. This is why scouting locations is really important. It helps you save time, save money. And like I said, it's just, it's just a better use of time helps you know where you're getting into so always scout out your locations if you're doing any kind of professional photo or video shoot at least in somewhere that where you haven't been always scout out your spots and always check and make sure that your conditions are right and once we get further up the canyon we'll talk a little bit more about what we're looking for so yeah we'll chat more when we get there So we made it. Um, it didn't snow as much as I thought it did, but oh, there's still a lot of snow up here. So yeah, let's walk around and see what we can find. Okay, so we're out, we're on the lake. Um, it's totally frozen over. So we're, yeah, we're out here. Um, just being really careful. It's really slippery underneath this slow. I already almost slipped once. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna look and see what we can find. That's good for sledding. I already have some ideas in mind. Um, this hill right over here, it's pretty good. Um, you can see the FJ up there. Um, you can't really, it's so white, you can't really see any definition, but yeah that might work but i don't know we're gonna come over there's a little bowl over here that a lot of people go to to go sledding and we're gonna go check it out i don't know if it'll work but ah, we'll see all right so make sure we're I'm wearing polarized glasses so it's hard to see if my uh exposure is right through those um all right, so we're here at the spot that I wanted to come check out. So there's like this bowl. Um, I don't know if it fills up with water anymore, but a couple years, you know, years ago, it used to have water in it during the summertime. But the lake has gotten so low now that I don't know if it has water in it anymore um, during the summertime. That is, oh, it's deer tracks. Um, but here, let's walk down here. We'll we'll kind of look at this and see what's see what we're dealing with. See if we can get down here without without dying. Okay, so here's our bowl. See, I'm walking. Um, yeah. Now this may be a little too intense for what we're looking for. I do know some guys who, in the past, have put a couch on some skis and have ridden the couch down this hill I would never do that I think that's insane this hill is oh I don't know how big it's really big though so I would not I would not do that riding from the top of there all the way down to here you can't it's hard to see on camera just because everything's so white but yeah that's a no don't litter guys 
Somebody left their sled here. Okay, so some things to think about when we're scouting for locations are, what are we doing? For this shoot, we're doing sleds. Um, sleds are not anything too crazy. This isn't snowboarding or skiing, or we're not doing any kind of crazy action sports with this. So we don't need anything too intense. We don't need this 50, 60 foot hill. We just need something that's a little bit, a little bit nicer. So we want to think about what we're doing. We're not looking for anything crazy, not looking for any crazy slopes. Second thing about, who are we doing this for? So for this shoot, we're doing this for some kids sleds. So we are not looking for anything too intense because we don't want to send kids down a, again, a 50, 60 foot hill. Hopefully the wind's not too bad. Where did this come from? Come on, let's go over here into the trees. So our third thing to think about is where's our light at? So I particularly like to shoot um, with my subject backlit or at least side lit. Um, that's just how I like it. That's how I get, I, I feel like I get the best photos that way. Um, so for this situation right here, since it's the beginning of December, the sun is gonna be just on the other side of this hill. Um, you can kind of see it a little bit through the trees maybe, but it's on the other side of this hill casting light this way. Which is, that's where we were thinking about shooting. I don't know if I can get that dark enough to see. But, so, you gotta think about which direction you're gonna be shooting. So for this one, for instance, when we're taking photos of these kids going down this hill, we are gonna have the sun right in their face, most likely, depending on the time of day that we're here. So here, I'm gonna turn this around. Okay, so if I want to have kids sliding down this hill and I'm gonna be standing down here at the bottom shooting up that way towards them, the sun is gonna be right in their face. And I don't know that we want that. That's not gonna be the best light, at least for this time of day. Now, if we got here further in the, or earlier in the morning, the sun's gonna be up on this side and it's gonna be side lighting them. And that's a little bit more appealing. That's maybe a little bit more what we're looking for. So knowing where the light is going to be kind of helps me get an idea of what time of day would be best to come shoot here. So morning time when the sun is um, going from this way or in the evening when the sun is on this side over here. Now it gets a little tricky here just because the sun dips below this mountain up here uh, pretty early. So we don't have like a ton of time. That sun will probably be gone here at about I don't know three or four hours so the window to shoot here is not that big so we kind of have to be really precise in when we decide to come shoot here but as of right now I think the spot looks pretty good I think it'll work really well uh, the snow looks good the lake is frozen which is what we needed um, and I think it could provide for some pretty cool potentially pretty cool photos and videos so yeah, those are just a couple of things to think of when you're on location scouting out some stuff. So you always wanna have in mind what angles you wanna get. You always wanna be thinking about, you know, what kind of shots you're, you're gonna be taking. Um, think about what you need. Kinda have a shot list running in your head of, yeah, just what you need to get. So just a few little tips on, on what to do when you're scouting for locations, so. Yeah, I'm gonna keep walking around here. Um, I don't know, it's nice to go out for just a little you know, little hike. Maybe we'll take some photos. I don't know, like the light's not my favorite right now. Um, we do have some cool atmospheric conditions over here with some of the, the clouds up on the snowy peaks, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what I, I'm thinking. I'm gonna finish this loop real quick. It's not very long, but I don't know, it'll be fun. Also, am I hiking around in skinny jeans right now? Yep, yep, that's what I'm doing. I don't know why, but 
I, I have no explanation. It is so freaking pretty out here. Like, I don't know why people don't like the mountains. Like, this is so cool. I'm pretty sure that if people don't like coming up here to the mountains, it's just because they've never been. They've never really experienced it. So, it's like, I don't... This is amazing. I mean, I've been up here a billion times. But it still is just so pretty. I still just love it so, so much. All right, we're back on the frozen lake. So, we were good on the way out here. Let's hope we're good on the way back. So I think that was pretty successful. Uh, we got a good idea of what we were looking for out here in order of what we need to have a good successful shoot. So we looked at what our light was needing to be in order to get a good quality shoot. We talked about what we were looking to shoot and how that affects what we're looking for and then who we're shooting with. So yeah, I'm gonna drive back to the house. I'm gonna turn on the car and get a little bit warm because it's a little chilly. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming along. This was fun. We should do this more often. Um, I've never done a vlog before, so this was a first time for me. But yeah, we'll head back to the house and get warmed up. So I got donuts to eat on the way home. So this is going to be great. <laughs> Lifetime. All right, we're back at the house. Thanks for coming on that little adventure with me. That was a ton of fun. There wasn't as much snow as I thought there was gonna be. So it ended up working out really, really nice. So I didn't have to deal with any snow, which is always a, I mean, snow's fun, but I'd rather not drive it in if I don't have to. So if you liked the video, go give it a like. If you didn't like it, like anyways, can't hurt you. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Go check us out on Instagram, at Real Bushwhackers. Go visit our website, www.realbushwhackers.com. There's a lot of good stuff there. Uh, we got a lot of cool stuff coming here in the new year, so stay tuned for that. If you want to go check out any of the other links that are down below, go check them out. They're down in the description. My Instagram's down there. Um, our Instagram page is down there. Website's down there. Here's down there. This camera's getting really heavy. Jeez, how do people vlog? I This is my first time ever doing this. And I just, I don't know, that's a lot. There's a lot to think about, a lot to do, and it just it keeps you busy. So, um, yeah, also, sorry for the camera work. I'm shooting this on a 24 millimeter lens. It's a little tight, but yeah. Anyways, if you like it, yeah, go like it, go subscribe, do all the things. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye. <laughs>